So yesterday I got a notification from the monotype suspect uh, um, test thread for Espafra. Um, someone just uploaded or they posted a post like this saying es banning Espafra but not Gujo Hisui or Chaladon seems so wrong to me. And obviously I found that pretty funny because, you know, Gujo Hisui is not ban uh, not banworthy in any way and our Chaladon is pretty controversial at best. But I was focusing more on the Gujo Hisui part of uh, the sentence here and then i sent it into the monotype discord and i was like the gospel guys let's not ban this baffer we have bigger fish to fry but um yeah this reminded me of something that happened in the monotype chat about a year ago going on to two years i think no it was at least when uh, pokemon home first came out so it hasn't actually been two years yet but let's just say a year year and a half ago it reminded me of this user that we had in the monotype chat which um you know this guy wasn't even that bad at the game he was actually climbing on the ladder and like he seemed competent enough and he didn't seem like a troll because he was actually you know making discussion but then it just went downhill it did a complete 180 when he started saying that diogo origin was a worse pokemon than uh gudra hisui and that we should drop uh, origin from diogo into monotype and that's where it just went all downhill so i'm gonna just make a story time video uh compared to story time uh compared to pokemon story time video regarding that user and um you know their thoughts on why gudra hisui was somehow better than diogo origin form but yeah unfortunately i don't remember the name of this user and even if i did i don't know if i'd actually want to expose them like that it doesn't seem like that they've been active in the community since i, I don't even want to say we bullied them or them there was no bullying involved there was more of a thing where this guy just was not listening when we told him Diogo Origin was not even remotely on the same level as the Syrian Guja and this was before DLC 2 as well so our Chaladon wait it was even before DLCs like I, I even think before Ogopon and that was when this guy was you know talking he's uh you know rubbish about Diogo Origin being worse than uh you know Guja Hisui but yeah um if you guys do enjoy this video leave a like down below join the kingdom all of that good stuff but yeah let's get on to it so I'm basically just here to you know give some context about how this guy even remotely got to this conclusion in the first place but yeah here's our two subjects for today's video we have a suing Gudra and the uh, origin form the ogre now i can't remember verbatim what he was saying regarding uh why he thought gudra hisui was better than the origin the ogre but from what i could remember or at least just try and understand his mindset even though it's kind of silly regardless i guess you know he was making a point about the fact that hisui and gudra was a better fairy type answer just because it has a higher special defense stat and um you know i can't be bothered to actually do the calcs on 100 uh hp to 120 speed death versus 80 hp to 150 i'm pretty sure guja is bulkier anyway just because the stat is significantly higher but um you know i think he was making a point that guja was a better fairy answer you know could actually run leftovers as an item versus the ogre origin you know which is locked into the adamant crystal but at the same time I just don't think this guy was understanding the capacity of what he was even comparing Gujo Hisui against. Like, this is Dioga, guys. The one with 680 base stat total versus Gujo 600. Like, you would probably think 60 to 680 isn't that big, but it all matters about stat distribution. Dioga Origin has 150 special attack versus Gujo's 110. Gujo is quite a passive Pokemon, though the fact it may have moves like knockoff, Draco Mecha as stab and uh, you know heavy slam coming off of a decent attack stat you know is nothing compared to what Dioga can offer obviously Dioga also has its item slot you know restricted with an item that boosts its double st a dual stab by 20% so that 150 special attack when using dual stab isn't even base 150 it's a lot higher than that so you know trying to compare them on the defensive side even though the Ogre Origin is no slouch on the defenses either. It has a higher defense and HP than Gudra. So, you know, it's only lacking in the special defense style, which is still 120. So I I, I still didn't really understand the comparisons there. Like, uh, the Ogre Origin would still be a pretty solid fairy answer on uh, Dragon teams anyway, if it was legal and monotype. Has basically the same move pool and even, um, you know, good special moves as well. Like, Gudra might have a more colorful move pool if you look at special versus special for example uh google translate um you know you both have fire moves you both have uh, steel moves dragon moves um i'm pretty sure the ogre gets electric moves like thunder yeah so the only thing you're really missing out is you know surf and yeah that's it like the ogre doesn't get surf or hydro pump but you know this guy does so like what is really the difference here but yeah um 
it was very tough to try and explain to the guy at the time as well that you know freeing Diogo Origin would be a terrible terrible idea and uh, he just wasn't having any of it and at that point I think it came, it came down to like warnings of him derailing chat or something along the lines of that and like he basically just left eventually because I guess you know he didn't like the fact that everyone was constantly telling him he was wrong but yeah he was wrong and um you know, I don't think I have to tell anyone that subscribed to this channel or anyone that's even watching my videos for the first time why well, freeing Dioga is not a good idea in any circumstance, but if we really need to break it down one by one, why Diogo Origins somehow would not be allowed in even the likes of OU, usage-based tierings, or even the tier monotype, I'll go for it uh, for you guys because I like you guys and I just want to make sure that we're all on the same page here. But yeah, why Diogo Origin is too strong for most formats. Um, 150 special attack well you're probably saying oh chi you beads of ruin you know has a higher special attack than that but it comes down to the typing and you know the stat distribution like the none of its stats other than its speed is lower than 100 like that's already good enough and then you have one of the best defensive typings in the game three weaknesses and uh, you know you could very easily handle those weaknesses you know ground types aren't gonna like a boosted draco meteor um you know steel types just get folded by fire blast anyway he also has aura sphere and focus blast if you want to run it on that side um yeah there's just realistically no reason to ever free the ogre origin at all even in monotype it could easily just run an iron defense body press set go max special defense and what is killing it <laughs> it lacks leftovers and that's the only issue with it it lacks an item slot but again its item slot is boosting its dual stabs by 20 percent so you know there's like it, it seems mind-boggling to me to try and explain why Dioga is not a legal Pokemon to have in any like format, especially OU or Monotype. Like it, it's just very hard. And like obviously, like this gen has just opened the floodgates for people to come with really bad opinions regarding you know box art legendaries or just uh, automatic Ubers Pokemon, saying oh you know Zamazenta got freed, Darkrai got freed, you know using those guys as you know shaky examples to say oh you know we could free Reshiram for example, like all the Ubers that are bad. And to be honest, I'll say this: Dioga has fallen off from being a pretty top tier uber since like the fifth generation like dioga hasn't really been good since like gen 5 ubers and its origin form is arguably even worse in ubers formats because of the fact that it can't run a choice scarf it can't run leftovers it can't run a sugar berry or chopple berry and whatnot and you know the difference between regular dioga and uh origin dioga is pretty much like negligible the difference is not even that big like you drop 20 attack and put it into your special defense that is literally the only difference between Dioga origin and Dioga. and obviously you guys know about polkia and polkia origin like these two are pretty different pokemon like 120 speed from 100 is a pretty massive difference and obviously that was also taken from your attack stat and yeah that is literally the only difference between the two so yeah Dioga's change going into an origin form is not even like that big and doesn't really change anything but you know that's why it doesn't really see any usage and the ogre is not even that good of a pokemon in gen 9 ubers right now anyway but at least you know it still has a dragon neutrality and all that good stuff but yeah um going back to the point of people talking about the fact that you know basically shit ubers like being freed into OU or just any other non Ubers level formats. Like it's getting out of hand now. And, uh, you know, I guess that really started more this generation because of the fact that OU freed Zamazenta and Darkrai, for example. And to be fair, Sleep had to get banned for Darkrai to even be considered. And, uh, you know, people still have their 50 50s on the ban of sleep and then zamazenta literally got nerfed for the sins of its uh, brother <laughs> it, zamazenta did nothing in gen 8 to warrant getting nerfed but obviously you know that made it you know n less broken in ou and still some people still think zamazenta is an issue in ou zamazenta in monotype on the other hand people also think it's a problematic pokemon just because of its uh, iron defense body press sets but you know like yeah stuff like that just opened the floodgates and uh we had people trying to claim that uh you know gujo hisui was uh were better than dioga origin just because it could run an item slot forgetting the fact that dioga hits massively harder um has higher defenses overall at least on the physical side significantly and uh yeah <laughs> like and it's also faster like 90 speed a one like this having 90 speed while still having 
336 special attack with no invest zero investment whatsoever like c come on now like <laughs> like it, it was delusion I, I i that's all i can really say it was delusion and uh you know if you're having opinions like this like I, you're free to have your own opinion regarding certain stuff to do with meta games and that but when is built on delusion like a take like this just like more that, that that's my advice and that's the moral of the story if you have bad opinions and um, you know you're not open to listening to why your opinion logically doesn't make any sense just look <laughs> don't say anything you're gonna stress me out you're gonna stress yourself out and you're gonna stress out most people that disagree with you anyway but yeah that is the story time of how someone thought uh, Gujo Hisui was better than the other origin form in monotype and uh, yeah we I don't think we've really had a bad take like that ever since and I hope we don't have any other bad takes and if we do I'll be talking about it but yeah thanks for watching this video you guys hopefully you guys enjoyed my mumbling about a pretty bad take but yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one peace